Hello everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron. For we're continuing our efforts to solidify our border with the Soviet Union before Germany pulls the ultimate dick move and declares war on them with absolutely no plan in mind on how to actually conquer the beast. So far, Germany has declared war on a number of people just for shits and giggles, while the entire Wehrmacht and allies abroad as I see Hungarian, German nationalists, Spain, Romania, and Slovakian, and Siamese. Seriously, Siamese has 15 divisions here. There's also Polish divisions. Yeah. Uh, so apparently, it's, it was a good idea for all of Siam's army to go to Denmark to fight the Brits. And what, what I don't get is, why don't they just take them out? It's an easy victory. It, it's, it's an easy victory. Just wipe them out. Although it seems like they're... Well, though, that's Germany. And this is the Allies. It's just... It, 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 it bo boggles the mind. I'm baffled. Alright, so... Let's see. There was a combat here against the... Or, oh, first uh, naval combat against the Americans. We lost... Um, two old destroyers and a few planes. They lost most of their planes and nine destroyers. Where were these planes from? I don't see any carriers listed as combatants. Interesting. Anywho. Anywho. All right, so we need to keep four. <laughs> we need more of it. That's the, the. We have so much border with the Soviet Union to cover. It's going to be a bitch and a half to actually do anything about this. Um, Tibet. So these little guys belong to me. Or are basically... Are, are, they're, they're not anything. Let's, um, let's do this. Send them on over. Java C. Oh, it's just some convoys. Who do we got over here? All right, cranking those destroy those tier two destroyers out pretty good, and uh, pretty soon we'll be able to change it over to tier tier three destroyers as well. Encryption ciphers finished. Yeah, can keep coming down this list here if we feel like it, and we can work on rockets if we wanted to. Let's see, decryption or encryption? Let's do encryption. Uh, destroyers. Are uh, 29 days out before we can switch over construction. I mean, I'm really not that worried about the Americans. Uh, I just got to make sure they don't uh, pull a, you know, ultimate dick move and naval invasion all over the place. What is this? It's one Italian division. Turkey. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Turkey. What, what is going on here? What are we just sitting here for? Oh, yeah, I don't, you don't have any attack orders. Why don't you go kill that British division? Oh, I get it. When I gave them the border, it didn't actually give them the entire border. It just gave them a little bit. There we go. So they were just sitting there stacking up and taking attrition. 40% attrition, by the way. Five convoys, Straits of Malacca. I mean, seriously, the Americans, I don't think, are going to be too terribly problem problematic. I, I do not fear them. I fear the Soviet Union just because of the sheer size of the border. But nothing else, really. Uh, yeah, you guys can go out there and work. Another couple convoys down. Reinforce the Soviet border finished. Northern expansion gains conquest war goal against the Soviet Union or southern expansion uh, against the United States and the Netherlands. Well, we're already at war with the United States and the Netherlands. Gains for the Emperor, which grants division. Oh, that's only for 100 days. So let's take northern expansion. It's like the English are giving the Italians trouble here. I'd l as much as I'd love to go save them. Soviet withdraw. 
Protecting troop buildup, the Soviet wisely chose to withdraw their forces from the area immediately adjacent to the Manchurian border. Soldiers temporarily occupied several of the abandoned border outposts. Holy the end. Okay. So does that actually change anything? Um. Doesn't actually look like anything changed at all. And we are starting to get the equipment to our troops, it looks like. We're only down a, a few hundred artillery pieces, and yeah, we uh, made about a thousand guns since I checked last, I think. Still down by 1,500 anti-tank guns, but we'll, we can deal with it. A lot of convoys going down. So we withdraw. Soviet Union appears to unexpectedly withdraw from their stations in Moscow. Okay. <laughs> the cowards fled. So, it's saying that, but I don't actually see anything happening. I don't actually see any withdrawal. Uh, I'm gonna take this out, because we're good on that now. So we're gonna take that out. Oh, you know, we are getting our efficiency up on that, too. Destroyers, the cruisers, heavy cruisers. Oh, there it is. I was like, where's my Shikaku? There it is. Carrier fighter. Yeah, I went real heavy on the carrier fighters for the uh, the Mark IIs there. All right, so guys, offensive line. Boop, 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 boop. Go. I mean, there's no need to uh, to wait on the the bonus there. I just want to drive these guys out so I can turn them around, and they're going to go take out Turkey. Well, they're going to take out this first, and then they're going to take out Turkey. All right, you guys done? Go. Oh, there they go. There we go. Uh, I think I might take out Australia next. Well, what, what resources we got over here? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. There is some steel in Australia. That's what I'm interested in. There is some steel in Australia. Whoa, 23 ships here. Oh, looks like a lot of the, uh, the, the screens and whatnot got um, damaged. Not sure in which combat, but it's not a big deal. Alright, good. Building, building, building. Repairing, repairing, repairing. Australia should have a decent number of factories, too. Oh, I would imagine, at least. So we're going to swing our... Oh, Oman has capitulated. It's right there. One Saudi Arabian unit left here. And the destroyer is finished. So, we're going to go to production. Uh, oh, this guy is almost finished. August 4. Oh, so this guy's going to finish, like, tomorrow. Alright, so, pause. Uh, let's go to the destroyer, because class 3 destroyer right here. Should we maybe create a variant first? Anti air, torpedo, uh,. Anti-submarine warfare or engine. I'll undo. Anti-air. Can we get one more in there? We can. Alright, save that. That'll make the... Um... Azi... Uh... Akizuki. The Akizuki. Mark 1 class. So, we're going from twos to threes with a modification, real fast-like. Alright, almost finished here. Oh, Yemen is capitulated. Let's take everybody out. Come on, just go in there and take everybody out. Finish this up. So you're not a pain in my ass anymore. 
Oh, and the uh, Akizugi finished. Oh, we can actually go up. Uh, we got 50% off the um, the tier 4 here. Didn't even realize that. Some Marines I haven't really been doing much with, so I don't know if I want to go that route. Uh, excavation. Yes, why don't we do that? Excavation's going to be good. That's whatever we, whatever we are producing, we'll produce more of. Let's go there. Not too bad. Not doing too bad. I mean, I, I kind of wish we had more production. Well, we finally uh, are getting where we need to be with equipment, and we're going to start equipping 10 new divisions in a sec. I'm really not worried about these border forts too much. I mean, it says I have a, a, you know, the enemy is stronger, but I'm honestly not too concerned. What is the expeditionary force from Siam? No. I don't like the expeditionary forces. Um, I, I generally like to use my own stuff. They still got hundreds, about a hundred divisions there. Although the Russian border is pretty heavily uh, occupied, too. Looks like they cut off a number of Yugoslavian units and created a pocket here. I also see a Greek division or two in there. What is this? Oh, uh, it's an American naval invasion. Looks like there's some Anzac troops in there, too. Americans are a pain in the ass. Alright, so let's have a division... Walk over here, and then back. Um, naval invasion from here to... Do we want to do Australia next? To Darwin? Um, why? Not a valid province for an invasion. Why? Why is that not a valid province? What am I missing here? Naval invasion. There we go. Okay. Alright, whatever. Take care of. Ace pilot promoted. Ace pilot promoted. Do we have a lot of ace pilots now? Um, doesn't say up here. Guess we'd have to uh, actually go in here and be like, "Air, okay." Um, they're on the carriers. It looks like, yeah, Shikaku, Zuikaku, Akagi, and Kaga. Well, these ones are all dead, I think. Or no, no, they're not dead. They're alive. They're fine. Now, this guy says he's going to get wrecked by the Soviet Union. I really don't see that being a thing. Alright. Uh, they lost eight destroyers and a heavy cruiser. Good. Man, those ace pilots are getting promoted left and right. But I think it's because we're all of a sudden having a lot more uh, carrier combat. Lost another eight destroyers. Alright, now, Invasion of Australia. That should be pretty easy to plan. I don't think we're going to have to spend too much time on it. These guys are in the Bay of Biscay, not doing anything. Are th Wait. Southern India, Bay of Bing... Wait. They're... Oh, God, they're assigned to Southern India this whole time. I think I set that up last episode. Jesus Christ. All right, so we done down here? We done down here. All right, set up a front line. We're going to crush this pocket of British troops. And then we're going to turn around and we're going to take out uh, Turkey. 
which I'm not super thrilled about, but I mean, that might give me a chance to uh, fix this problem. This is this is insane. I can't wait for the uh, the next few patches to come out and hopefully fix this stuff. It's just absolutely insane what the AI uh, uh, some does sometimes. Any resistance anywhere? Just a little bit. Could probably, considering the landmass that they're assigned, I should probably make more MPs. I mean, we have equipment, so we should be able to get MPs trained up pretty easily. Yeah, they're, they're, and they're small, too, now. Field hospital, logistics company. Nah, we don't need anything else, I don't think. Uh, so why don't we add some MPs on. Uh, train. Uh, add unit. That's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then set location right here. Good. Done and done. I mean, 31 div uh, MP divisions to uh, police like a billion people doesn't seem like enough. All right, and justify war goal, conquer, Bhutan, send, Nepal, justify war goal, conquer, Nepal. Just for poops and giggles, basically. Poops and or giggles. Support weapons, very nice. That'll make my troops more defensive. All right, uh, mechanized infantry. Doesn't really seem like us. Logistics company, yeah. All those upgrades to uh, logistics companies and things like that are going to be useful. Looks like they've got things covered in Spain pretty well. Well, relatively. Okay, so we got our troops stationed up here. Uh, let's give them a offensive line to like here. And then go. Well, they should sweep in here pretty easily. Take out the Brits. Well, it looks like there's Belgians in there too. And then they're going to turn north and help with Iraq and Turkey. Five more British convoys down. Uh, are you guys ready? We lack sufficient... Intel on what? Where? Oh, that's a different C zone, isn't it? Alright, so you move down here. Hirohito speaks against Bhutan. Bhutan, clearly the, uh, the root of all uh, problems with the Japanese Empire is Bhutan. What do we got here? Coming across a fleet of British uh, subs. Not a lot. Not a lot of uh, naval... Co well, there's been a lot of intermittent naval combat, but nothing, like, to worry about, necessarily. It's just nothing... Ever, a lot of the times, the it's submarines or raiders, and they don't end up coming in contact with each other. They, they really feel they're that weak, or is it just we don't have intel on the enemy territory? I'm, I'm assuming it's just we don't have good intel. And I think we are out of foci. Focuses. Oh, well, we can do Fortress Japan for poops and giggles. Did we finish this? No, not yet. The Himalayas. Naval combat... That's just say naval combat in the Himalayas? Could have sworn that's what that said. Naval combat in the Himalayas. 
How does this look now? Not bad. Finally have surpluses. Thousands of motorized... Well, maybe we could... What, 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 are, how, what are we putting into construction of trucks? Right now. Oh, we got it full. We got 4,000 spare trucks, so we can knock this down. We can knock that down a lot. Let's see. Oh, you know what? We uh, we had uh, planes set up elsewhere. Yeah. So that just went into that. Say, we got so many trucks. We got 4,000 spare trucks right now. We don't need to keep cranking on those that hard. Recon company. Make our MPs better. Uh, trickle back experience loss. We don't have any, like, self-propelled guns or anything like that. Not a big deal. We could upgrade. You know what? We could go for our, our better. We have lots of light tanks in the army, and they are kind of out of date at this point. Shit. Forgot that we actually had done that. Gotta take a port. Alright. <laughs> take a, um... Australian port here. Nepal and Bhutan finished on the same day. Good. So let's take out Bhutan. For, say, for the sake of border gore. Those will all get, they'll get, they'll join the allies, they'll all get merged together. I mean, there's nothing here. They don't know, they don't have an armed, you know, armed forces of any kind. Alright, done and done. What are we saying? Four British convoys and... Producing, we have uh, spare factories. I think we actually captured some. Fighters, carrier fighters, bombers, 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 close air support. Tactical bombers. We are lacking on tactical bombers, aren't we? Hmm. Why don't we put on another run of anti-tank guns? Considering the fact that we never seem to have enough. Bhutan has capitulated. Of course they have. It's Bhutan. And now it's time for Nepal. Sorry, Nepal. Who are you? What are these? Who are you and what are you doing? Well, let's, let's do this. Uh, tanks, you attach to this guy. I'm assuming... Oh, you know what? I think I broke these guys off at some point. And then never gave him new orders. So, this guy who doesn't have a leader could assign him someone. We're gonna get front line here. We're gonna take out Nepal. Tibet does have armed forces. I just, uh, just for the sake of border gore, basically, we're gonna do this. And how is the army of, the army of Black Death of Doom? How we, what, what, what does our supplies look like on tanks? Medium tanks, we have an extra thousand, extra five hundred. That's pretty good. We have an extra thousand fighters, yeah, plenty of extra carrier fighters. Yeah, that's good. So when we get into some heavy uh, land combat with the Soviet Union or the United States, we'll have um, we'll be able to work with that. All right, let's see. What do we want to do here? Bother with infrastructure, air bases. We have a good one here. We need we don't do we don't really need it though, do we? I think I'm just build more factories everywhere. 
spread them out a little. All right. See, this this um, UI was definitely not built for micromanagement. It was definitely built for macro management. I don't think we'll need any more forces than we already have here to, to do this. It does. It definitely doesn't seem like it's going to be too problematic. Yeah, here, three destroyers. Ah, we got one of our new ones. Very good. And we're building the suicide uh, strike craft. Yeah, we're doing we're doing well now. In terms of equipment, we're fine. I think we've suffered more from attrition than anything else. The AI does not like taking care of border gore. I know that for a fact. And it has no problem taking crazy attrition sitting around doing nothing. We got naval combat. We lost a couple planes. They lost a sub. How did this? Uh, I guess the submarine, with its anti, you know, limited anti-aircraft capabilities, took out the plane. All right, Germany still have hundreds of divisions dis d being distracted up here. Yep. And pretty soon we're going to be able to turn around on Turkey here. Yeah, take out these Brits. Overrun. And there we go. Okay, the army of, of, of blackness. Set them up over here. Set them up. They'll go over there. Well, they should all be on the move. Yep. And we'll be able to... German units are traversing through the Soviet Union? Have transit rights, I guess? Then all the wars are going to get merged. Boop, 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 boop. And we start moving. Not really a problem. There we go. Let's see here. Wow, organization of 80. That seems pretty high. Or is it... Does everybody get that? No. Oh. Move on here. Clean up the border gore. Also free factories. Because all of the miners will have spent a while building up their uh, their their you know production and whatnot. You can take out Tibet too. Should have those Ooh, we have fifteen divisions over here. Oh, you know what we got? We got those uh, the medium tank divisions. All set up. Several hundred, uh, well, they're mostly using old Chi Ha's, but definitely looks like there's some new, uh, some more of the Chi News in here as well. Good. Alright, so all these guys, um, let's go over to Nagasaki. Well, let's go over to Hiroshima. It's more centrally located. We'll start shipping them over. Running low on manpower. Definitely running low on manpower. Uh, we can deploy all those. And what we're just going to do is this. Uh, it will automatically take care of that. So for like the battle planner, I love for like for the for garrisoning areas. I love the battle planner. Just give it a whole stretch area, and it'll it'll do what it needs to do. It'll transport units where they need to be transported. It'll do what it needs to do. I love that aspect of the battle planner. Um. From what I've I've heard from the Black Ice devs, uh, the, the the plan for the battle planner is to basically make it uh, change the UI and things like that, so that you have you can't use the battle planner. Um, basically, make it moot. And I, I honestly do prefer the old style 
or the new style. Oh, they've sent more units. You know what we could do is uh, actually send some units over to help. There are lots of fresh people in, or you know what, maybe we don't need to. It looks like the Australians aren't really that good. Ah, we can still send some more people over if we want to, though. Looks like there was a big fight here. We lost uh, five planes and two destroyers. Um, they lost eight destroyers and about 30 planes. Although, you know, I'm not... I, it doesn't really... Well, losing all these destroyers doesn't bother me because we're building them. They're all the old ones. We're building all these new ones. Uh, can I actually... Can I take, like, like, one of these guys and tell him to meet up with a fleet and join it? I don't think I, I don't know if that's a thing I can do. But anyway, we're going to leave this episode right here. If you have enjoyed it, please just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays, Hearts of Iron 4, just subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time.